In today's episode, can we use our newfound military strength after clearing up all of those brutal full stacks from the Antigonids to press onto Pella and maybe see some real progress for the first time in a couple of episodes? Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are back with another Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, yes, last time we cleared up another couple of those brutal full stacks that they keep sending towards us. We also took this little place here, Ayana, which has a mine, which is fantastic. Does it have any corruption? No corruption, getting a thousand from mining. That has really, really helped us out. But first of all, before we get going, guys, if you do enjoy this series, a like would be massively appreciated. I've seen a massive drop in likes on the recent videos, probably about 50%. So if you are enjoying this series, series <laughs> a like would be massively appreciated, guys. But let's get into the video. Now, I've got a little bit more money than I did previously, mainly because I just went and scammed the uh, AI at Pontic Pentapolis <laughs> over here with the diplomat to try and get enough money to build a spy. In fact, I may get two spies... But we already have one under recruitment here. So let's get two spies. They don't have much uh, much upkeep cost. Let's have a look. How much is your upkeep, my friend? I think it's about 150 or something. Or is it free? Maybe it's free. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. When we recruit this guy, how much is it? I think it's 100. Yeah, 100 a turn. That's absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. We've also got this secondary army now, led by Askerion. I do always choose the ones with the hard names, don't I? <laughs> Askerion is ready to take on Argos Aristicon, and we have got our proper army down here ready to go. I don't believe we are recruiting anywhere else at the minute, apart from Fenike, where we're getting another Deuteroy, and we have found in the last couple of episodes that although the Deuteroy are good against anything that's trash, against the Ptolemaic, sorry, the Antigonid <laughs> Phalangites, they are pretty darn rough. They are not fantastic, are they, against those boys? But anyway, let's stick that end turn in and let's see whether this massive army decides to just investigate this Athenian guy or whether it actually does decide to come round and try and defend some of their land for once. So, Athens is now at war with both the GCS and the Ptolemies. Don't know how that's happened, but they must be being invaded at least. I don't know how they're not at war with the Antigonids. Kind of crazy. It seems like the Antigonids don't want to go to war with anyone apart from us. But maybe that is just player bias, I've got to say. So, let's get our guys in this army. I'm thinking we just auto-resolve this and put all the missile troops to the front, so they are the ones that take the most damage. I don't think we'll need to play it. Let's have a look. With the Phalangites, we would probably get killed quite a bit if we play it. I might save and then see what we can do, but let's get our good army out of here now. So we are out of there. What else do we have? Another Zistaphoroi. Definitely want to take that. Now, I'm wondering whether... Yeah, the mercenary phalangites. I mean, what is their upkeep now? 236. They'd be fantastic for a garrison. So, yeah, that's fine. But we are going to go up towards Pella with this army. Hopefully, we can, uh, you know, take Pella. That'd be fantastic in this episode. But first of all, we've got to destroy at least one big full stack that, <laughs> that the Antigonids have. Now, I am going to quick save here. So, quick save. There we go. And let's just see what the auto-resolve does. What? 876! <laughs> oh, well, let's reload that in. I am, you know, it's a little bit cheating, but that's, that's just stupid. <laughs> that is crazy. How much does it think each... The general's bodyguard didn't even get involved. Apparently, this Chalka Speed has killed 588 while losing 24. <laughs> that is an insane KD. This Chalka Speed has belongs to FaZe, boys. <laughs> the FaZe Chalka Speed has. Oh, my God. It's kind of crazy to see with our new army that, you know, our, our upkeep has gone from 10,000 down to 5,000 because of the retraining. That's kind of insane. 
But it does show us that, you know, we are not rich at the minute, especially with the amount of troops that we've got to organize to, you know, win these battles. But let's get into this battle then. And I've got a feeling, guys, that it may not be 876 losses this time. Here we go with some phalanx on phalanx action down here, guys. We've also got their general coming in. I mean, if he wants to come in, I've got my Acontist die ready. I've got all these boys ready here as well. So let's see what he does. And let's see whether we can pummel them with javelins. Oh, here they go. They're going for the charge over this way. That's fine. What I'm going to do is get my cavalry around this side. Away from these boys. I'm going to try and squeeze this little unit through the back here. And try and get these guys in the back. So that should be nice and good for us. So keep coming, guys. Keep coming. I think they'll be able to get through without taking... Oh, come on, guys. Just just don't just, just do not do that. Just just get out of the goddamn city. Like, how are they managing to push through like that? Like, what are they... Uh, <laughs> how can the AI do this? This is just stupid. Like, we get absolutely pummeled by this, but them just going through like that does nothing to them. <laughs> come on, man. Right, let's go around this way. Let's see if we can take that general on now and let's come through we're also i don't want to get my akantistai in there until the general is dealt with to be fair so once he's dealt with we shall come back around and yeah now these guys halt get your spears down guys get your spears down there we go you can see they're just getting absolutely brutalized even though they're fighting them in the back <laughs> like come on come on let's get them off guard mode then i guess because that's probably now nah, keep them on guard mode here's the general Let's get him. Go, 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 guys. Go. Kill him. I'm sure I told you to kill him. There we go. He's, he's running now. Kill him. Kill him all. Kill them. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. Good. Right. Let's get our cavalry around this way. In fact, where do we want to go with the cavalry? Probably over that way. And for now, we're going to try and get our archers through. I don't think the Akontistai are going to be so useful now. So kill those boys. You guys can get in the fight too. Just for a bit of banter. And we'll get the cavalry around this way. The These boys, let's get them over there. They're going to run all the way through that way. Good. Now the Phalangites are dying. Fantastic. So we'll also bring our Hoplites around this way. Uh, or the mo most of them anyway. And we're going to get these hoplites probably up through the middle there. Same as these guys. Here we go. Guys, stop getting in the fight, will you? Get all the way over there. Because ideally, I want to put them here. So we'll get set up, guys. And then I'll see you in a sec. Right, we're all set up now for the final unit. So I just need to get these guys to come and attack them. And then hopefully we can draw them off the town square and squish away as much as as possible like we've seen very very quickly in this battle that these chalka speeders from them are so much better than our units this is also is this the back of no this is the side of them so this should do a lot of damage go on boys there we go well when i say a lot of damage apparently one or two guys <laughs> but hopefully this forces them off looks like it might do looks like it might do so keep firing men keep firing we've also got the archers here hoping that they'll fire but it doesn't look like they will Fantastic. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's get these guys around. Go as quick as you can, men. Quick as you can. And we'll get our hoplites over here as well. Come on, men. Let's go. And let's get that Akontistai back this way. So we are just using this unit as a bit of a meat shield. Hopefully it will, uh, you know, give this unit some experience. We do have one hoplite here with very good experience, meaning it's got 40 defense. Very nice. And 14 melee attack. But that is a single unit. A singular unit. Right. Once we are in here, let's get that going. Yes. And let's just stop them coming across. Stop them coming across. We'll also get a hoplite in there just to stop them. Two. We've got you guys around this way. And then the rest of them can just stay in there. You guys get back to try and fire at them. I would prefer that. Uh, I'm fine with you guys just going there. You guys get up this way then. And anyone else that we want to bring in? I mean, we've got the cavalry. We might as well bring the general in very close. God, look at that again. They just get absolutely moshed. Why are you not in phalanx, guys? Fuck me, honestly. Like, 
I have such a love-hate relationship with Phalangites. They were in a perfect position. They were in a perfect formation. They're on guard mode. And yet they have their phalanx has crumbled. I know they're shit phalangites, but they should be at least able to just hold the phalanx formation. Now they've stopped the phalanx formation, which is good for us at least. But goddamn, phalangites, man, fuck me. I, like I have such a love-hate relationship with them. In certain situations, they're so good. In others, they are just the most frustrating unit you can use. And this is why I'm so excited to play as a Thracian faction in the next patch. Because, fuck me, I do not want to deal with Phalangites again after the Seleucid campaign and this one. Because they are just so annoying. <laughs> now, the good thing is the Chalka Speeders should not be good in melee here when they don't have the Phalangite Phalanx down. So let's just speed it up. And if they don't get back to the square anyway, we'll still win. And these guys are just completely trapped. Fantastic. Kill them all. Kill them all. There we go. A glorious victory, even though we lost 175. I mean, <laughs> mainly the Deuteroy. Look at that ratio. I mean, yeah, the Deuteroy is not a good phalangite unit, it seems. <laughs> so, like, good against hoplites and stuff, but other phalangites, it just crumbles. It crumbles. It's not professional enough, so we really do need to get up to the next level. And when we get up to the next level, we'll start replacing our Deuteroy in a few of our armies. Or maybe merging them after battles so that we can replace them with better units. Because the other units are a lot better. But anyway, good result. And a lot less. 175 is a lot less than 880 or whatever it was. So, <laughs> glorious victory, guys. I will see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory, my friends. Glorious victory. Yes, enslave the boys, enslave the boys. Now, I know someone someone commented previously why I always enslave. Now, the reason for that is, so I could occupy, for example, I could have occupied Argus Aresticon over here. Now, the reason why I'm enslaving is because, first of all, public order. Now, it looks happy right now, but if I take everyone out apart from, say, an Akontistai in here... It's still 95%, so it's good happiness because of the enslavement. But if I'd occupied, maybe we wouldn't have been able to leave it. So by enslaving, it allows us to leave straight away, which is so much more valuable than that extra bit of population because that extra bit of population is spread throughout our lands. So what it allows it to do is grow the cities where we want uh, the growth to come, like Parmeni, so like... Um, Fast loss, for example, it's, it would be fantastic if this becomes a minor city because it's one of our recruitment hubs. Whereas if we'd have just occupied here and then tried to build it back up, you know, um, build it into a recruitment hub, it's going to take forever. Whereas we have already built recruitment hubs that need the growth to get to minor city so we can start building these next level of barracks and all of that sort of thing. So that is the reason, and of course, by spreading the population in your already occupied land, it's a lot more stable than it is occupying this and just keeping the population in here. So that is why I like to enslave everyone. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm never going to occupy, but yeah, th those are the reasons why. But if you occupy, you may just be playing a little bit slower and not going out, out of cities every single, uh, every single battle. And that is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with occupying. The only option that's really not that good is extermination, which you should only do if a place has, like, no public order whatsoever and is going to be an absolute nightmare to keep if you don't do it. So that is the only reason. Or the only other reason is if you are so strapped for cash that you have to do it. So, yeah. But those are the reasons, guys. I thought I'd explain that a little bit more. But look how little we are building <laughs> in here now. Let's try and get something else in Tricker. Just to get that extra happiness in there. Same thing for Falana. Unfortunately, we cannot. So we may... Yeah, we're going to have to definitely go down to normal tax rate in there. Larissa will be a fantastic recruitment hub for us. So I think we just spend the rest of our money on Epiro Recruitment 2. Just to get up to the next level. And what can we already... Yeah, we can already recruit quite a lot in there. So is it not worth maybe getting the city barracks? Because that will allow us then to retrain Deuteroy here. No, I think it's more valuable getting the level 2. Let's have a look at level 3. Any AOR 
Thessalians available in Larissa. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. So we want to get up to level 3 there, it would seem. So, anything else to do? Apart from maybe move the old diplomat. Uh, let's try and get an alliance with at least someone around this area. No one wants an alliance with us, actually. It's kind of strange. You again. But yeah, lo everyone hates us, and our reputation isn't even that bad. 95%. <laughs> Byzantium hates us. Come on, guys. Come on. I know you want it. I know our guy, I know our guy only has one influence because he's undiplomatic because I had so many offers rejected, but... <laughs> Come on, just a trade agreement. Just a, a tiny little trade agreement. And we're a lot stronger than you as well, so... But anyway, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where this big army decides to go. And Athens comes wanting a ceasefire. 100%, we do not want to be oh, fighting thanks. Athens for no reason. We might as well also get in a trade a agreement because their islands over here are just over here, so we may actually be able to trade with them with some of the ports that we get in this region. Uh, alliance, maybe? No, very demanding, as usual. <laughs> and Argos has been destroyed. That is unfortunate for them, but I don't really care. I've also realized, after going on that massive tangent about <laughs> why I always enslave, I forgot to actually remove this army from here. <laughs> Which is insane. <laughs> why have I done that? Let's have a look at the best regions around this way, where the mining is possible in some of them. There's actually iron up there. That's good. What about over here? Horses and hides. That's a nice one to get as well. I don't really want to get at war with the Illyrians right now. But let's keep on chaining through some of these minor cities. Because they shouldn't really want to defend them. And I'm hoping this time we'll be able to auto-resolve this without 800 goddamn losses. <laughs> let's move these guys to the front so that they don't die. And yeah, we'll move those boys around as well. Now, what else do we have? Greek cities and Knossos are now at war. Nice. Antigonids and the Boeotians are allies. God damn it. <laughs> oh, the Boeotians are now a protectorate of the Antigonids. Fantastic. Oh, we got two guys come of age. Please tell me it's Pyrrhus. Please. Oh, no. I ice on. Let's have a look at the family tree then. Where, which line did these guys just come from? Um, doesn't look like this one. Let's have a look at the next one. Ioson is Admetos's son. Uh, Kytos is dead. We've also got still the Spartan guy. So we still technically have a claim on Sparta via that line. Oh, this is the other line. Interesting, interesting. But none of those ones came of age. I guess... Where did the other one then? Where is the other one? I'm very confused. Maybe I just... Oh, no, it was this guy. It was the Spartan boy. Fantastic. Let's have a look at both of those. Um, and just make sure we're putting them in the right places. You are intelligent, charismatic, and spiritless. But you've got a decent amount of management and some influence. So although you are Spartan, I don't think we're going to get you uh, joining an army anytime soon. Do we have someone in Dion? Let's just press this so we see the richest places. I'm thinking we'll send you to Iana because... That is quite a rich settlement, so I would love you to get some extra money from here and allow us to put the tax up as well. Very rich settlement indeed. Our richest settlement to date. And then who else do we have? Where was the other guy coming of age? That was that guy. Aison over here in Pasaron. Well, I think we'll just go to Korkira because Korkira is also quite rich. You've got one management, which isn't fantastic, but you've got extra taxes. Very good. And some extra fertility, so that should help with population growth over in this minor city too. Fantastic. Argos has been destroyed, and Iginion has now upgraded. Glorious. Good to see. Very good to see. So let's save our money for now. You have gone and siege down there. Got these guys up this way. And like I say, we are, we are going to go for Baroya, and then Pella, I think, is the option. Sorry, just got tabbed out there by a bloody antivirus software. Like, why tab me out when I'm playing a game, you silly bastard? But anyway, let's <laughs> let's siege down Baroya. Oh, the salt is coming out again. <laughs> I need to I need to calm down on the salt. We've had two very salty episodes, so this is an upbeat episode. Come on, Red. You can do it. You can do it. Be happy. Be happy. Come on. Yes. Yes, glorious. What a glorious episode. Glorious things have happened. We have been amazing this episode. No salt has come out. 
whatsoever. Let's get some buildings in here, guys. Fantastic buildings. I fucking love buildings. Yes, come on. Get a market. Oh, yes. Oh, that is glorious. A trader. No, I don't want two buildings. Get in the Argos. Oh, my God. This is, oh, my God. Nothing to build here because it's already built so much. What a glorious building there. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's just not my nature, man. <laughs> it is my nature sometimes, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to be upbeat from now on. <laughs> not quite as upbeat as that. But uh, yeah, we've got another Deuteroid. So let's bring him round. And we can swap out this Deuteroid when we do after the next siege. When we do? Uh, when we go after the next siege. Uh, so let's actually look at the, the buildings properly. Because I know I was being facetious then. But I do actually <laughs> love buildings. <laughs> so Fenike is our recruitment hub. So can we afford... Let's go... Potentially, let's go for those stables in there so we can actually get cavalry trained in there as well. Pasaron, I am very, very tempted to build the academy. I know it's expensive, but that should really help with our growth with our guys. But Pasaron's actually a second tier recruitment hub. Interesting. Let's actually target this building then. Let's look at Farsalos, which is a good recruitment hub for us. Um, Ferai over here is also a recruitment hub. So is not Dion. So is Larissa. So, Larissa is building. That's good. And Brocket is really the main option. Yeah, we're, we're building there. Fantastic. In Ferai, then, let's... I mean, this missile range, is that actually going to get us anything? Just Greek Peltas. So, it's really not worth it at all. So, yeah, let's not worry about that, then. And let's get some economic buildings with the rest of our money. Uh, Pasaran, yeah, let's just go for that academy. That's going to bring us more money over time. And then let's potentially go for that tax income bonus from the temple in Korkira. And I think we are good. We are fantastic. <laughs> so let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. And the Antigonids continue to stack their armies. Like, look at that army. That is filthy. I think we've got a decent enough army to beat it just about. But I think it'll be a brutal battle, especially if they have a few units of those Chalcospedes. So, let's have a look at Peleon. If we auto-resolve 102, 102, I'm happy to take that. Especially if it's in the Deuteroy. Yeah, it's mainly the Deuteroy that took the damage there. Some Zistaphoroi as well. So, not too bad. I know you should never really auto-resolve, but it's fine when chaining through these cities. This guy is not going to be able to get past Argos Arresticon anymore. Now, is this a mineable area? No, it's not. This is not the greatest of cities, but we're just removing them from being able to recruit so many troops every turn. Now, what I think we'll do is leave behind that Akontistai. This unit can go back to Fenike. Please don't attack me, GCS. We've been allies for a long time. You know, we've been we've been nice and helpful to you. Let's also keep training more Zista for it. <gasps> Yes! Come on. No, let's not train Zistaphoroi then. Let's train some Ambrachio Phalangites. Some actual Phalangites that will be able to stand up to the enemy. Because look at that. 36 defense versus 30. 18 melee versus 16. A lot more alt attack and a lot more morale. So they are... And these are just mid-tier Phalangites. So the Deuteroi truly are a trash-tier Phalangite. But like I say, trash-tier Phalangites can still be very good. Even if they are trash-tier so we're going to leave this guy behind in here. Uh, and they're still incredibly happy. So let's go for... I mean, ideally I would like to go for this one or this one. But which way are we going to go that way? We're going to go here. So that means if he decides to assault this, we will be able to attack him back. What notifications do we have? More diplomatic information. The Thracians and the Pontic Pentapolis are at war. Alliances between the Antigonids and Sparta. This is so cursed. <laughs> like, they literally do not care about anything else. They just want to fight us. <laughs> they don't want to fight anyone else. So let's have a look now what we can do in here. And I'm thinking we go for the Experience Temple. Because Ambrakia is our capital. I would love to get the ship right. But we just don't have the money right now. So I think, yeah, let's go for the Shrine to Dioscuri. And like I say, we're keeping it on low tax rate so that we can uh, get some better uh, troops later down the line when we get to large city level. 
Um, and then where else? Tricker built that temple. That's fine. So I think I will do this battle, especially seen as they have Royal Peltas. God damn. Where are they pumping these troops from, man? They only have a minor city. I think the AI can recruit one tier below the tier that it has. So say it's a minor city. It can recruit large city units, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's probably the reason, to be honest. But yeah, Bakiria, we're going to go for that with this army. And I think we can beat that army, especially with our Zistaphore and our general. Because I don't think that's a general. Yeah, that's just a captain. So, yeah, we should be able to beat that. Do we want any more troops? I think we want a Prodromoid potentially in this army too. And then in this unit, let's get some more Akontistai to govern the cities. Uh, Ambrakia, we're getting an Ambrakio. And in here, we're getting a Deuteroy. Fantastic. So, we're, we are recruiting everywhere. So we can use the rest of our money for an economic building. Antigonia, Chionia. Yeah, nothing we can afford right now. Interesting. Anywhere where we can afford anything. Thebi, Pathetides. I mean, let's go for the... Let's see how much the... I mean, I'd love to get that, that uh, port in there. So, Byzantium, will you actually listen to me now? Okay, good. So, let's get map information. Let's go for about a grand. That should be enough. Most okay, good. Proposal. Fantastic. And let's get this guy up to talk to so, sort of the Gete and a few of these other ones. Trade rights with Kabile. Okay, good. Proposal. Fantastic. More money. I know it's a bit of a scam situation, but it's fine. No. We must uh, who else do we have here? Tylus. Oh, hi, Tylus. Alliance? No, they did definitely. No one wants an alliance with us. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> literally no one. Apparently, killing Macedon is not very popular, even though most of these nations would have to fight Macedon if we were not <laughs> if we were not destroying them. <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, we've got an extra bit of cash. I'm not going to scam the AI more than twice in one 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 uh, turn. It just kind kind of seems a little bit dirty, but that should allow Thebai Pathetides now to build a port. So let's build that in there. How much money does that provide? 165. Not amazing, but also not bad at all. And yeah, once we get all these ports around this region, you can see so many ports. We are going to be a lot, lot richer. And then when we come down to the Peloponnese and Evia and start taking these islands, we shall be very, very rich indeed. I mean, we still are not hugely rich, even though if you look at our land, how many settlements do we have? We got a lot of settlements now. I mean, we can just check here, can't we? Go to the overview. 21. But yeah, it's, it seems like a lot, but it's actually not that many. So let's get into this battle, guys. We'll definitely play this because we're going to have to. Luckily, they have no um, phalangites. So we should be able to hold them back with the phalanx, especially if I double stack these guys. But let's find out. I will probably use the mercenary phalangites mainly just because we can't retrain them. And we should be able to, you know, get the best money, uh, the best of our money out of them, should we say. So let's get into the battle, guys. Well, they brought the Royal Peltas out to meet us at the gate. And we are just pummeling them with javelins right now, which is fantastic. I do want to save some javelins, so I'm going to keep these guys stopping firing now. The rest of them can all fire away, especially the Prodromoi. I don't mind them firing their javelins. But once we've got the gates down, we shall be fine. And we're going to get a couple of our phalangites through too. So you guys get over that way. And potentially you guys over this way as well. Ready to fight. Because we mainly want to do the fight with the phalangites, of course. They do have their general around. Where has he gone? Oh, he's over there. Fantastic. Nice to see. So I think that's all the javelins gone. How are these guys not able to fire? I think we get in front of the gates. We should be able to fire. And this 30402, if they get there, they should be able to fire as well. Bit of a mess over here, isn't it? <laughs> here we go then. They're coming in for the attack. So once they've done that, we can go and surround them now. So let's get this phalangite through and this one through too. To get over here to block off this area. And yes, finally the phalang phalangites are working well. But I don't know whether that's famous last words or not. <laughs> We shall see. When they start to do that crazy push through the middle of the phalangites, then, uh, yeah, we'll find out, won't we, I guess. So these guys come through. You get there. That'd be fantastic. 
Go, 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 men. Go, go. Fantastic. We have fully surrounded that unit. I'm scared of that general coming down. But looks like he's going to just run into the phalangites here. So get in there quick, 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 men. Quick. Looks like they don't want to uh, come and join the party. It's one of these types of battle maps, which is actually a really good one for us. Right, guys. Phalanx down. Phalanx down. There. Stop them coming through. Stop them coming through. You guys... Just move forward. That would be fantastic. Now, the pathing might screw them slightly here. But hopefully not. Hopefully not. Keep that phalanx up. Keep that phalanx. There we go. This is what we like to see, isn't it, boys? This is exactly what we like to see. Now, halt. 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 I, sa I said halt. God damn it. Did, did I not say halt? Oh, was I? Oh, was I with this unit? I don't know. I don't know. But halt now, anyway. <laughs> And we have shredded them there and hardly lost any men. Fantastic. Now we need, just need to work out what we're going to do with the rest of our troops. The Prodromoi can fuck off back over here. The Athamanians, I'm thinking we send one one way and the other the other. So you guys there, you guys there. What else do we have? I think it's worth taking a couple of Greek hoplites. We'll bring them around this way. There we go. Get that way, my friends. This unit can come all the way over this way. All the way there to protect that. And where's the general? I mean, let's just bring the general in. I don't want to waste the Zista Foroi. So let's bring him in. Let's also bring these two guys into here. Fantastic. And where's the other Athamanian? The other Athamanian can go over this way. And we are set up. And now they're outing. Glorious. Well, we've got rid of that unit very cheaply indeed. So here comes the general. He has run into the phalanx, but they're not very well set up. <laughs> so we are running this unit here as well. Maybe overextended slightly there. So maybe shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. That unit needs to get really low as well because we're going to use it as a governor, I think, for this city once we've taken it. Because it's going to be useful, useful, useless in anything else. Get your phalanx down now, guys. Halt. And that should be enough to hopefully kill this unit of General's Bodyguard. Nice and easy. Although the Thurio Foroi are firing their javis. So let's get the Athamanians up here to try and fire back and bring them off the town square. Here we go, guys. We're going to try and bait this Thurio Foroi with a few javi shots. Let's see what happens. It is in the front, so it may not kill many men because it's attacking their uh, shields, of course. But looks like it's killed a few, actually. Fantastic. Right, let's get back then. Get back. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. If anyone knows what that is in reference to, <laughs> then uh, do let me know down in the comments below. Because it is a fun reference. Um, right, Athamanians, can you fire at these guys again? Okay, no. Let's just stay here for now. Stay here for now. We've got to get them off the town square. So there we go. I don't want them to run too far. There we go. Should be able to fire now. Should be able to fire. Halt, you fools. Get back. Get back. Go, go, go. Pathing, guys. Pathing. They've gone for the charge, so they should hopefully chase them. That would be fantastic. Let's come over here. Nope. Looks like not. So I think, I mean, they're only Thurio Foroi. So what I'm thinking of doing is let's get the Phalangites in there. Who else do we have? We've got Athamanians. You get in there too. Let's do the town square. Let's not worry too much about it. Like I say, we'll be fine. So we need to bring these guys round too. We'll bring the Athamanians over this way. You guys get there. And please get the phalanx down this time. Good. Get the phalanx down. Get the phalanx down. So we're going to get the Athamanians all the way around this way to fire javis into them. We're also going to get the Athamanians there too to fire javis into them. And these guys, they need to stop running. Get over there. Start running, I mean. Should I say? What's the other unit doing? You guys get there. So they're fully squished. And we can fire missiles at them down the side. This guy can come around this way to protect the Athamanians. Same with you, actually. Let's bring you around. And we're going to have to kill them on the town square, unfortunately. But that's fine. You guys now, fire at will. Please fire as well. That'd be great. Hopefully get a lot of kills here. Come on, Athamanians. I know you're a very good unit. you just got to get the throws off. Go on, boys. Go on. Throw. There we go. That's it. These guys too. Throw. Throw. 
There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, guys. You're not in melee or anything like that. These guys are throwing at least. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. Finally got round to it. But that should absolutely shred these boys. Glorious. And once we've done that, yes. Getting about 10 every, every single. Yes, that's it. Every single volley, about 10. And they're hardly breaking through. So let's go forward. Let's go forward with these men as well. And finally, have you thrown everything? Looks like it. Oh, the sandwich, the double sandwich in this episode, guys. <laughs> Very good. This is where Phalangites get to work. And it's glorious to see when they do. It's just when they don't work, it's so frustrating. <laughs> because you know what they should be doing and they're not doing it. But I guess it's when, you know, their formation gets disrupted and all that sort of thing. So let's kill this unit. Should be nice and easy. Get all of these boys in there. Keep going, men. Keep going. I don't know why you've done this. That's kind of weird, but... Okay, there's only nine men left. Kill them all. There we go. Glorious victory. And we only lost 65 men. Very nice indeed. Most of those will have been that mercenary phalangite. Yeah, 31 casualties. Glorious. We should be in a good position now to siege down Pella. Let's go. So this one, for example, is a good example of where we might want to occupy. It's already making 2,000 gold. It's 210%, but it's also over the threshold, I think. But let's occupy for now, and I'll just use it to show... Oh, no, it's a minor city, Baroya. Fantastic. Oh, very good. Very good. Nice to see that. So let's, of course, destroy this. That'll give us a load of cash. What is the temple that they built? Tax income bonus. No problem with that at all. I quite like that, in fact. And a good city as well. A good, nice city with extra river ports. What's the trade over here? Dion has, yeah, lots of gold. Silver allows the trading of salt and horses. Fantastic. So that's with Dion. So who has the trade goods? So, yeah, Dion has salt. And Baroya, I'm guessing, has horses and silver. Oh, my God. We can get a... We should be able to get a mine in here. It only costs 3,400 and 750 income from mining is glorious. Now, let's see whether occupying has been better here. You can see it's only on 70, which is not bad. So that was a good option, actually, to occupy that one. So maybe we'll keep on doing it. Apart from Pella, of course, we will. Uh, yeah. What's this here? Why is that Athenian army there? I hope, though, that army blocks them because they're going to have to either come around this way, which I don't think you can go, no. Or, yeah, I think the Athenians are going to come in ham for us here. <laughs> go on, the boys, completely blocking them off. Oh, my God, if that, if we pull this off, that'd be glorious if my voice doesn't break. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, what a glorious sight to see. So, let's get these guys, yeah, building... Don't think we need this unit anymore. It's 16 gold that's worthless. So no point keeping that in there. So we've got 1,900. Anywhere else we want to build. Potentially in Dion, actually. Let's have a look. Also, we need to make sure in Larissa we're continually building those military buildings. Same thing over here in Ferai, but we can't afford anything right now. And Brakia is building... Anywhere else that we want to build something. Or we can at least afford to build anything. That's the main thing. Okay. In Aegineon, we can get a farming. That's going to get 70 gold or so. Fantastic. That's fine. And you're trading gold, I'm assuming, with Ariana. Yes. And hides with Tricker. So Tricker has hides. That is good. So although it's not a huge thing as part of the game, guys, to look at, keeping an eye on the trade resources is very useful because... If we have a look at, say, Baroya, the place we've just taken, you can see when a few trade resources are getting traded, it can really add up to a lot, lot more than uh, than what we see previously. So when you're having a look at those trade resources in some of these regions, it's going to be good to get trade buildings because trading I Ayana here with other regions is going to produce a lot of money for both Ayana and those other regions through the trade. It's another reason why we should get Bakaria, because I'm assuming that we'll be able to trade with Bakaria when uh, when we get to it. Currently, it's not trading with Baroya, but it looks like it's not, you know, there's a mountain in the way. So, <laughs> glorious anyway, guys. Let's end the turn there, and let's see what happens. 
And the Antigonids did get blocked. Oh, baby. <laughs> the poor fuckers. Poor, poor fuckers. And we're back to making about 11,000 a turn now, which is glorious. Falana has now expanded. Absolutely brilliant. Let's keep that up. It's only a town. Wow. Yeah, we've got really low population in a few of these places, of course. Um, but that is, you know, so we've got better population in our homeland. Built in a few different places. Like, uh, well, this was just rebuilding, I think. Korkira got that as well. So let's go up to normal now. Although it would be nice to get it to grow. So maybe we're going to have to invest in a bit more growth in this region. I would also love to get an academy there so that our guys get better traits. You can't underestimate how strong it is to get academies in these regions, guys. Like, it is so strong. Why can we not build one here? What are we missing in terms of the buildings? It should be in culture. What do we need? Market? Oh, sorry. I, I thought we had a market in Brachia. No, apparently not. We have no market here at all. <laughs> so, oh my god. Nice move. Nice move, Antigonids. I didn't mean to actually retreat then, though. I wanted to just go off the battle. What is this? Illyrian Slingers. We definitely should have taken that battle. But a nice move by them, trying to ambush us. They've done that twice now. Fair play. Fair play to the boys. And we have another Deuteroy, so let's get them moving on the way. Is there anyone else that we are training? Some more Ambrachiotes in there. Prodromoy over there, and then in this one, some more Akontistai. That is absolutely fine. So let's see what we can build. We don't really need to build any more military buildings, but we are going to build those city barracks in Farsalos so we can get better infantry soon. And then in Ferai, I mean, like I say, I don't think the missile range is worth it at all. It would be nice to be able to get those cavalry stables. So, yeah. But in fact... Hmm, we need to get to the next level so we can get the different temple in there. And we are building in most of our recruitment hubs. So then let's focus on the low public order. I mean, most places are pretty happy. So maybe Tricker we go for sewers. But I'd like to grow some of these other regions instead. So let's go for some growth in here. Crop rotation is so, so expensive. So, so is the public baths. Wow. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking we go for the crop rotation then because at least that provides us some money and get a bit of extra population growth in there. But we've got one thing to do in this, you know, this uh, <laughs> this turn. And that is to take Pella. And I am not going to auto-resolve this, guys, because it's Pella. I know it's only one unit, but goddamn, it's fucking Pella, guys. We are going to take the seat of Alexander and reaffirm our right to the throne of Macedon that Pyrrhus had those years previous, about 15 years previous now at this point. So we are retaking Pyrrhus's crown for Pyrrhus's name and legacy with the son of Pyrrhus, Alexander, with his other two sons who have died. Let's actually check how old those boys are now. Pyrrhus is 10, so we need at least need to survive until Pyrrhus comes of age with Alexander, so we can keep the line nice and straight down the line. But let's get into the battle, guys. And the walls of Pella await. This ancient city that hosted Alexander's empire and Philip II's empire too. And yes, I think this is really a turning point in the campaign, seeing this. I mean, touch wood. <laughs> let's not jinx it. But yes, we have finally made it to Pella. I thought we'd get here quicker, but it seems like <laughs> the extreme mode is very intent on uh, <laughs> blasting us <laughs> with um, with lots of armies. So yeah, we're just going to get up on the walls and just take our time because we need to soak this in. Taking Pella, guys. A good achievement early on in the campaign. So here we are, fully set up for the town square. So I'm going to try and use the Thurioforoi this time to bait them off. Mainly because, actually, we're going to go into a fat formation so they'll actually be able to run away effectively. Just so they've got a little bit more defense against their Thurioforoi. So let's come forward and let's uh, try to get those javis off. I don't want these guys to charge. So let's halt and let's fire. 
Fire away, boys. Fire away. And they may charge us as well. So ideally, I just want to fire my jabbies. Looks like they're going to get the one first one off. But like I say, I don't really mind. As long as we can bait them out of here. So go, 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 go. Get all the way down there, my friends. Go, go, go. Go. Don't stop. Run. <laughs> God damn, man. What are they? What, are the, what do they think they're doing, man? Honestly, come on. Fucking run. Fucking run. <laughs> stop stopping. Fucking run. <laughs> God damn it. No, no, no. Stop stopping. Just fucking run. <laughs> run. <laughs> come on. No! Just run! <laughs> you idiots! <laughs> Leave these men behind! We're the opposite of the Navy SEALs or whatever they are. Is it? Is it the Navy SEALs, I think? That their thing is like, leave no man behind or whatever? We're the opposite in our Hepero uh, <laughs> army. <laughs> now, it looks like they don't want to fight then. That's fine. Fire at them again. Speed this up. There we go. Now fire. Fire, fire, fire. I don't mind if this 304 gets absolutely shredded. Like, I would prefer to bait them off the town square and not lose a load of other men. And we can even use this 304 if we want. Uh, now go, 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 go. Now you'll actually run this time. Good. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Well done, my friends. Well done. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. No, no, no. You guys, they should have fired as well. Yes, this is fantastic. This should help. Get a few of them in the back. That should be good. Right, speed this up. Let's see what happens. And if we can get this guy maybe further forward, we can bring the Athamanians further forward too. Go, go, go. And now you should be able to fire pretty nicely. Fantastic. Didn't really do much damage, did it? Here we go. That's it. That's it, boys. That's it. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go. You guys should be able to fire now as well. Go, go, go. Get engaged, get engaged, get engaged. Squish them, squish them. Come on. Fire, fire. God damn, man. God damn. That's annoying. That's very annoying. <laughs> but at least it allows us to just kill a few of them one step at a time. I don't think they've got any more javelins left. Guys, guys, you know you can fire your javelins from back, like, over there. That's where you were, you know, able to. Don't know why you decided to get so close to them. Keep running. Just run. <laughs> Just goddamn run. Keep coming forward then, guys. There we go. Fire at them now. Should be able to just fire. Just fire. Why do you need to run? Fucking fire, man. Okay, looks like they've got a guy engaged in melee somewhere. Don't actually know where. Can't see them anywhere. But looks like they're coming. Good. Right. Now let's go. I know this is finicky, but... <laughs> We want to take as little losses as possible because we've got to face that big army, haven't we? There we go. That's what we like to see. Get through the Phalanx Furio Foroy as well. And then we should be engaged. There we go. There we go. Now engage them. Now engage them. Now you guys can do that. Right. You two. Let's go. ASAP. Go, go, go. ASAP. As quick as possible. Kill them. Why do they keep doing this? Looks like. Come on. Fire your javies at least then, guys. And, I mean, let's just kill them. Let's just kill them. <laughs> Here we go. We've got them on the town square. Let's get rid of them. They are pretty much done. They've hardly killed any of the phalangites, which is what we wanted. I mean, we lost a lot of men on the 304, right? But everyone else is absolutely fine. So we have plenty enough to go after that big army if we want to now as well. There we go. Glorious. Glorious, glorious Siege of Pella. Very nice indeed. The seat of Alexander is now ours. Fantastic. Glorious, glorious fight. Very nice indeed. Oh, I'm so happy we've got to this point. And we may occupy Pella as well. We don't want our new Macedonian vassals thinking that we are, you know, cruel and uh, brutal. I mean, we are, but <laughs> we don't want them thinking that, do we, guys? So I'll see you back on the campaign map. So let's occupy Pella as well. We gain 1,000 Nanarii, and it is a fantastic, fantastic settlement. They've got a Temple of Artemis as well, so this would be good for missile troops. Let's destroy that. Let's also have a look at what AOR is available here. 
pretty much just Macedonian hoplites and Greek peltasts. So I think for now, the best thing is just to go straight for that Epirote recruitment. And I'm honestly considering just waiting here to see if they'll attack us. Because I think they'll think they're stronger than us in this battle. So I would prefer to wait and just see what happens. I also forgot that we got a couple of spies. So let's get these guys all the way up. I always forget to use the spies to actually, you know, um, try and open gates. But it seems like they don't do that very often. Oh my god. How? <laughs> Macedon, how? <laughs> this doesn't look as strong, but god damn. <laughs> What a brutal bastard this extreme mode is. It's very good, though. I am really enjoying this because it's such a challenge compared to, you know, normal. So it is very fun. We now do border the Pionians, it seems. So we can actually trade with them. How rich is Pella? 2,700. So it's a pretty good uh, thing to keep that. And it's also very nearly a huge city, a large city, should I say, as well. So, fantastic. How is Thessalonica as well? That's good. 8,900. This is just a large town, but probably upgrading to be a, you know, a, uh, a minor city too. And Bacaria is just a town. So, yeah, I think we're in a good position now. A very good position. I would love to get a governor in there. We did use the governor for Korkira and Larissa. So, I'm thinking of maybe swapping out a governor when this... When this unit is done, I think we swap out Ptolemaios from Pharsalos to govern Pella. I think that's the best option. And let's have a look at what else we want to build then now. Pelion over here. That's actually an, Ill an Illyrian town. Let's go for the communal farming in there. Anything else that we want. Ayana over this way, 5%. We definitely want this to upgrade very soon. So I think we go for the sewers there too. Tricker, and then we've got no money. Fantastic. Well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. It might be a little bit shorter than usual. It's hard to tell with these edited battles. So, But fantastic episode. We've taken Pella. Glorious episode, should we say. Absolutely glorious episode. And yes, fantastic. They still have plenty of full stacks around us. But once we've taken up to here, we're kind of then... You know, looking at either the Peloponnese or Rome potentially at some point. But we are definitely not militarily strong enough to take on Rome, at least at this point. We may be economically strong, but yeah, militarily we are a long way off. Because our military infrastructure, it just takes so, so long to build at the minute that we are definitely not going to be military strong enough, militarily strong enough to take on Rome till at least Ambrachia becomes a large city. And we can start getting our Molossian boys. Because we need level 4th tier barracks for these guys. And 4th tier stables for them. Or the fact that we can uh, maybe upgrade some other places to kind of catch up to. But yeah, it's, it's a long, long way off. It's a long way off. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed, a like and a subscribe would be fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.